Okay, so this is going to be part two of um, episode number four, I believe. Yep. Mm -hmm. And this is the one that you don't have, don't, you know, it's not Yarny related, so don't watch it if you are not really interested in that kind of stuff. I just ran out of space on my original, like, original episode four, I guess, let's call it, to talk about things that I've been doing and what's been going on in my life and that sort of stuff. So, if you're not interested, then just watch the other one. Whatever. Um, so basically, it's been a month since I last talked to you. A lot of stuff's been going on. Um, I've just been really busy with work and running around and stuff like that. Um, Adam graduated from college from his undergrad, my husband, and he has now started his um, graduate school. So that's really great. It's just super busy with him and trying to get back onto um, a schedule. Uh, he has been working. He got an internship, so he's been doing that all summer. So now he's got his internship and graduate school. And then even in, with, in between all that, he had a um, graduate school trip to Canada uh, for about three or four days that he had to do. So it's been kind of hectic the la this last month, tr getting all of that together and getting him ready for, for college and stuff like that. Well, you know, getting all his, his forms signed up and the, everything paid and all that kind of stuff and getting him a suitcase and his passport and all that kind of you know because guys can't guys can't handle getting their stuff um packed by themselves and stuff they just he would have forgot everything had I not helped him pack but any, anyway he really enjoyed it he's got some cool pictures um it was neat. I wish I could have gone, but you know, it's a school trip, so I can't, I can't go. He had to ride the smallest plane he said he's ever seen in his life. There was, like, just two rows. Like, there's two people on one side of the road, two people on the other side of the road, back. I think there was, like, 20 of them, and that's all that fit on the plane. Um, so he said that was a little scary, <laughs> that small of a plane. But, um, so he went. He had a good time. He got to see a baseball game. The Toronto Blue Jays, I think, is who played... I don't do baseball, so I don't know, but, um, so that was, that was just recently, and this week he's had immersion week, where he's been at school almost every day, and they want him to, um, like, do nighttime extracurriculars, like, get together as a group, and it's just a lot for an adult student to have to deal with when he is also trying to work two jobs, because he actually has two jobs. He works, um, as an accountant, he works in the audit type department uh, for an account agency, and then during the day, and then he goes to, he's supposed to be going to school at night, and he also works um, at Walgreens on the weekends or, you know, whenever in between, just to kind of, because that's where he worked before, so that's his insurance. So he's got to balance through two jobs in, um, and school for right now. We're hoping that his um, internship will turn into an actual job and he can he can quit the Walgreens. So, but that's, you know, just something we have to play by ear. So, there's that. That's what's going on with him, basically. But I'm in all that because, you know, I have to help him with all that. And then our hot water heater went out. So, there was water all over the floor. We had to take care of that. Um, my mom was in the hospital for like a week. She got sick, so I had to deal with that. Um, and I had to, um, uh, bring her dog to my house. She has the most ginormous dog ever. I've shown her on the podcast before. Um, she's the biggest baby in the world. She's very, very baby. The dog, not my mom. Um, so she's very high maintenance, and so we had to deal with that. Lola got sick. My dog, this, this, this Lola. Um the crazy girl, my crazy baby. Um, she got sick with her, her back flared up again or her neck. Um, and she was feeling really bad. So that, that was an issue. She had to do people. She's crazy. Um, other than that, she's fine now. Um, we just have to watch her, uh, jumping off of stuff or I think when she gets stressed too, it, it, it flares up. She's got some issues with her spine. Um, she she's just crazy. She she acts like she doesn't have any any problems. She's she's got an oral fixation. She doesn't bite. She just wants to put her your hand in her mouth. Um and she makes all kinds of noises. Let's see if I can get her. 
Make some noise. See that? She makes all kinds of crazy noises. She sounds really big and bad, but she's she's not. She's not big and bad. Um, Stitch, the other, my other Frenchie baby, he's he's fine. Just as grumpy as usual. Um, he's not a he's not a, a lap dog. He's asleep somewhere. Um, and then Henry, who you saw in the, can I put my arm down? Henry, who you saw in the other video, um, likes to put his butt on the screen. He's doing good too. He, he has some, um, balding issues, I guess. Like he'll lick him. He's got some, hold on, get over. He's got some issues where he gets nervous about things, I guess, and like he licks himself till he's bald on spots. And it was getting better after our roommate moved out. I think our roommate just having an extra person in the house all the time kind of stressed him out. I don't know. He's high maintenance. But when I had to bring my mom's dog over here, it kind of, he started doing it again. But he seems happy, so, you know. The vet said not to worry about it. Some some cats just have OCD about it and just lick their fur till it comes off. Um, but what else is going on? Um, like I said, I went to Gatlinburg. That was fun. I did not get to go to a yarn store in Gatlinburg. I went with my parents. We drove up there. Um, it's like a three-hour trip, and they wanted to go and come back in the same day. So I, I wasn't doing anything on a Saturday, so I just went with them just for just for the fun of it. Uh, but they're not yarny people, so we didn't stop at the... There's a place called the Smoky Mountain Spinnery, I think it's called, but um, it's all the way up into Gatlinburg, and we just went to um, Pigeon Forge, really, so we didn't go that far. Sad. Man, I'll make my husband take me sometime. Um, sometime if we ever get a vacation. Uh, what else has been going on? don't know hopefully someday I've been talking to my dad who is a construction guy uh, he's supposed to build me shelves along this wall you see over here and when I say that I mean like he's been promising now for four or five years that he's gonna do, do it so maybe hopefully he's he's come and measured and done all that so maybe hopefully someday you will see shelves over there I'd be so excited um, I'm such a book nerd I have like a million books so yeah so what else did I do I went to a my very first tractor pull and I do have some videos of that it was hilarious and fun um I've never been to a tractor pull I do live in the south and am slightly country and I've never seen a tractor pull so yeah I've never seen monster trucks either I really want to see monster trucks but it was really fun and I made some videos um, or I took some videos of the tri of the trucks going and pulling the big tractor thing. So I'll put those at the end of this um, this video because it, it's pretty funny and hilarious and, and just it's it's interesting. So yeah, so I did that and I've just been working. The eclipse is tomorrow that everybody's talking about. I do have some eclipse glasses, eclipse glasses, which are super hard to find now in my neck of the woods. I'm in like the direct path or whatnot of the eclipse, so the best place to see it. And apparently there are people from everywhere coming here. I really hope they don't mess up my my um, commute to work tomorrow, uh, which is not very far. I live like 12 minutes away from where I work, but uh, I don't know. But I bought my glasses. And I think it's around 2, maybe, that it's going to do the eclipse thing. Uh, that the eclipse is going to do its thing. So, I'm going to just step outside the building where I work. And we're, I'm just going to watch it with my glasses. So, that'll be fun. I'm not going to take pictures. They say that it'll mess up your camera or it won't show up anyway if you take pictures. I'm sure plenty of other people, professional people, will be taking pictures and videos. So there's not really any sense of me trying to do it. Um, what else? What else? I think that's really it. It seems like I haven't done a whole lot in the month that I've not talked to you guys. I'm hoping that I will be able to kind of get back on track and not be a month between videos. We'll just see. I'm not going to pressure myself into it, but my, um, my husband will be gone a lot because, like I said, two jobs and 
and school so he will be gone a lot so I probably will have more time to just sit here and talk to you guys so yeah so that'll be that um I don't know what else to tell you I really don't <laughs> um we're getting a new Michaels in my area it's really not new they're gonna move it from one side of the street to the other so I don't know if that may like I'm hoping that they have kind of updated and it's gonna be a nice Michaels because the Michaels we have now is really small and kind of grungy so I'm hoping the newer one will be larger and you know more shoppable and maybe have some a better yarn section because ours is horrible I was hoping for a Joann's but since they're moving the Michaels over there, they usually don't put a Joann's and a Michaels in the same shopping complex. So that makes me sad. But you do what you do. We got a Sprouts and all that. I haven't been over there. So, but yeah. Um, I guess I'm going to sign off on that here. I thought I would have more to talk to you guys about uh, from the what's going on. But like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you watched this one, thanks. Give me a thumbs up. Um, makes me feel special. And um, I hope you enjoyed part one, the actual yarny content of the video. And I will see you guys later. Bye.